Hello, you're probably wondering why I'm dressed like this. Well, let me tell you the story of how the heck I ended up here. So a few weeks ago, I sent Jack on a mission to Guangzhou. As you can tell by his questionable food choices and generally confused demeanor as he stumbled around the city, we work better as a team. I'm not eating dinner yet. This is so overwhelming. I need Nico here to help me. Hey, yo, Mrs. I'm really sorry. But as that video proved, sometimes we all need to step out of our comfort zone. And with that in mind... That got me thinking that I've actually never traveled in China on my own. So today, that changes. All right, I know what you're thinking. Who the heck is gonna help me film? Well, fortunately, I've enlisted the help of... <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend, Cynthia. Hi, I'm Cynthia. I am from Mexico and I've been living in Shanghai for four years. And my friend, Phoebe. Hello, I'm Phoebe. I'm a Chinese Yes, that's right, a Chinese friend. So I think it's safe to say that things will go a bit smoother for me than they did for Jack on his solo trip. Oh, shoot, I forgot to mention where we are. If you haven't guessed it already, this is Xi'an, one of China's most beloved tourist cities. But I've been there, done that. So this time, with Cynthia and Phoebe's help, I am determined to show you a different side to the city. It's so hot. It's the most famous Baijiu brand here in China. Welcome to the longest day in Tang'an. I feel like I would fit in quite well here. I don't think it's spicy at all. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about Xi'an recently because I've been making some short video content and it's been bringing back loads of memories from when I came here with my parents three years ago. We've been dying to come back ever since and I'm sure you can guess why. But more about that in next week's video. Because honestly, we tried so much good food, I just had to make a whole video about it. And no, Jack, there wasn't a Lay's American Classic in sight. So, what's today's video about? Well, let's just say Operation Make Jack Jealous. So when Phoebe texted me and asked if I wanted to come to Xi'an, I jumped at the chance. Sorry about that, Jack. You see, Jack is the kind of weirdo who spends his spare time scouring yeah. the internet for videos of... What are you doing? Nothing. What are you watching? Nothing. Emperor Taizong and the rise of the Tang Dynasty. Oh my word. Guilty. <laughs> Busted. Anyway, as you now know, he is a massive history nerd. So if I want to get my own back for all the fun he had without me in Guangzhou, then there really is no better place to come than China's ancient capital. Yep, yeah, that's right. Not only was Xi'an China's beating political, cultural and business heart during the Tang Dynasty, but it was actually the biggest city in the entire world at that point in time. And looking even further back, Xi'an was also the home of China's very first emperor and his rather remarkable terracotta army's eternal resting place. All right, that's enough from you. Let's not try to bore them with endless facts. Besides, we visited the Terracotta Warriors last time round, and I think one visit is more than enough. But the wall that surrounds the old town, on the other hand, well, that never gets old. Xi'an is a city packed full of history, and you can really feel that walking around, especially up here on the ancient wall. We've come to view it at sunset, and it seems we're not the only ones. Yep, these people know where it's at. Because not only is the wall spectacular at golden hour, but after dark, well, let's just say it's a content creator's dream. Hmm, nice pics. But you'll have to try harder to make me jealous, missus. Well, wait till you see what we've got in store this morning, Jack. So here you can see the Wild Goose Pagoda. We came here three years ago with my parents. But it certainly wasn't as hot as it is today. Honestly, it's absolutely scorching. It's about to hit 40 degrees. 
Remind me again why we decided to come to Xi'an. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's really good. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> I remember. Well, yeah, Xi'an is definitely famous for its food. But as its heyday as China's capital coincided with a general Chinese golden age in terms of art, music, and culture, I would argue it should be celebrated for its historical significance. Uh, don't forget to add social media to that list. So one of the reasons we've come to Xi'an is to get some content because my friends are awesome content creators on Instagram. So I'm going to leave that link below and you should check them out. I know it all looks like fun and games, but I assure you, during summer, this is hard work indeed. It's so hot. It's, it's like 40 degrees here today. Do not come to Xi'an in summer. This is a bad idea. It's been the hottest summer ever in China this year. So I think after all that, those photos, we deserve a nice iced coffee. Coffee, yay. Coffee time. So although we came here to cool down, we could not resist coming to the terrace to check out the view of the pagoda from here. I mean, just look at that. Of course, after another round of photos, the effects of the iced coffee quickly wore off. But thankfully, before we hopped in the taxi to our next destination, I spotted a cheeky frozen treat that I have been wanting to try for a while now. Oh my God, it smells so much like Baijiu. I actually don't even really enjoy Baijiu that much, but I was just really interested to see what the ice cream tastes like. Oh, this is better than Baijiu, I think. And for those of you who don't know, Baijiu is a rather strong, clear, white Chinese liquor. If you know, you know. It's quite strong, but the ice cream kind of complements it. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit easier on the, on the throat than Baijiu, I think. It just tastes like vanilla beans to me. Can you taste the Baijiu? A little bit, like very light heat to it. Anyway, I can feel Jack getting impatient as he edits this video, so I think we should do some more historical stuff. And for the rest of you, don't worry, my well-connected influencer friends have planned something a little more interactive. This place just opened this year and it's like a Tang Dynasty immersive experience. So we thought we would travel back in time to the Tang Dynasty. <laughs> so, this is actually the first time that I've ever dressed up in anything here in China. But Phoebe has the most beautiful photographs. You often do this when you travel, don't you? Yes. If I see they have a dress up store, I would definitely try it. So, can you tell us a little bit about what we're wearing today? Yeah, so today we're in Xi'an trying out Tang style Han Fu. And look at like your beautiful hanfu and then even your hairstyle. So this is also like matching my, my uh, hanfu to, I don't know, this is like a Tang style hair, uh -huh. hair, yeah. Well, I've got to give them top marks for historical accuracy. Now obviously I didn't get the hair because they only have black wigs and I thought that I might look a little bit silly, but they have embellished it and it looks really cute. They're, I love it, they did such a good job. They did, now I was a little bit nervous to get dressed up because I was a bit worried about what people would think about me being in Chinese clothing, but everybody seems to be like yes, really she's loving a it. celebrity here today. Everyone's trying to get a photograph with you. Yeah. Go one, two, three, start. Okay. One, two, three, start. Welcome to the longest day in Tang'an. Welcome to the longest day in Tang'an. Well, we need to travel more together yes. because Jack would never, ever do this. So it's really nice to kind of have a new experience and try something different. Yes. Yeah. It's a really interesting building and you can do lots of things like eat and drink. There are also many performances throughout it. But the real reason people come here is to take photos. And of course, as a dedicated social media husband, I will edit them up for you, missus. 
Let's boost those colors. Get rid of those people. And voila. This kind of experience is super popular with Chinese tourists. And it's not uncommon to find dress rental shops and makeup artists at tourist sites across the country. But this is the first time I have dared to join in the fun. Maybe I should travel with a Chinese friend more often. Oh, and what else can you do besides taking photos? Well, the most popular Chinese pastime, of course. <gasps> we had to come and get the food and unfortunately eat it in our clothes. Anyway, the heat of the day should have subsided. So let's pop back out to see some more of Xi'an's historical central district. We are in Huimingjie, which is one of the most touristy streets here in Xi'an. It's famous for its foods and delicious things to drink, but that's not the reason we're here today. Ooh, I'm not familiar with this place. Let me do a quick internet search. Aristocratic family, Ming Dynasty, beautifully preserved courtyard. Ooh, this sounds like my cup of tea. Well, if you hold your horses, I'll explain a bit more in a sec. This is the Gao family mansion, and it feels like a complete world away from the busy tourist street outside. It's so beautiful. This house is absolutely beautiful. It was built in the Ming Dynasty, and one thing you must do if you visit is watch a show. And if ancient art forms aren't your thing, then there are photo opportunities galore. Anyway, I am bloody knackered, so I reckon we should grab some food in the Muslim quarter and then get some rest, because tomorrow is going to be a special day here in Xi'an. Sunday is market day here in Xi'an, and this is Xitang Market, which is one of China's oldest and largest markets. It's been running for over 300 years, and it is a sensory experience like no other. Jack really missed out not being here for market day. I know he would have spent hours here filming B-roll. So I tried my best to get shots he would be proud of. How do you think I'm doing so far, guys? Have I filmed a cinematic masterpiece up to Jack's standards? Ha, maybe not. But it's hard to stay on task when there is so much to see, experience, and of course, eat. For 1.5. Boom. Oh, lovely. They're just like very light. Oh, yeah, it's just like a little bit salty. Okay, so this is a pumpkin sesame ball. Oh, it smells good. Oh. Oh, it's really soft. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect it to be so soft. Mmm, really good. Phoebe looking stylish as always. I think I think you're gonna get some people commenting on you in this video, Phoebe, because you're always looking so beautiful. <laughs> So these ladies behind me are all fighting for the best pattern fabric. I feel like I would fit in quite well here because they're all rocking fabrics that I usually wear. Anyway, before I get too many negative comments about me dressing like an old lady, I reckon we should bring this vlog to a close. But don't worry, next week we are going to dive into Xi'an's culinary scene. We will try a one-of-a-kind soup, eat the loudest noodles in China, and tuck into the world's oldest hamburger. Wow. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye! Bye.